Let's call this rough sketch in front of me the map of Yemen. And up here in the north are the Houthis, an armed Shiite rebel group. They have been fighting the government for years. And in 2014, they took advantage of austerity measures taken by the government to call for mass protests. Well, it soon all escalated. They joined hands with former president Ali Abdullah Saleh and seized large parts of the country. Saleh himself was forced out of power in 2011 by popular uprising, but he still had many loyalists within the army. In September 2014, they took over the capital, Sana'a, and forced the government to flee. The government then had to relocate to the southern city of Aden. The Houthis continued to push forward. This time, the government had to flee north to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia does not want a country controlled by an Iranian-backed militia on its borders. It formed a coalition and launched an airstrike campaign against the Houthis in Yemen. With all these groups being busy fighting each other, two groups were gaining more influence on the ground. Al-Qaeda and the so-called Islamic State. Yemen is seen as part of a proxy war between Saudi Arabia and Iran in the Middle East. But this war is dragging on and all parties want a way out. For Saudi Arabia, the cost of this war is burdening the country at a time where economic cuts are necessary. For the Houthis, they have been worn out by the year-long strikes against them and they've already lost many of the territories that they have seized. Well, there have been several attempts to restore peace in Yemen, but no agreement has been reached yet.